Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to share with you our elementary homeschool curriculum choices for the upcoming school year. So that'll be the 2024-2025 homeschool year. I'll have two kids in elementary um, school this year and so I'll be sharing my third grade curriculum choices as well as my fifth grade curriculum choices. Now, Lord willing, I'll be doing some additional videos to share my middle school curriculum choices as well as my high school curriculum choices as well. So so stay tuned for those. I'm going to be starting with my fifth grader and for Bible my fifth grader and actually my third grader as well are going to be going through the studying the Bible from the foundation worldview curriculum I wanted to do this this previous school year and just with all my health issues and stuff I just wasn't able to work it into our regular um, Bible time and so I'm excited to purchase it and um, get started a little bit in this summer and then continue it on into the new school year. Um, I love this course because it's what I have been trying to teach my kids um, on my own, but it's all put together nicely in a course, and that's how to study the Bible, um, to understand the Bible and the passages that you're reading in context, in which part of um, the Bible, Old Testament or New Testament it's in, the book of the Bible, is it poetry, is it history? I mean, all of those things I want my kids to understand, and I've been working with them um, on that over the years, but I'm really excited to just have one course that is all laid out nicely and walks them through um, just how to study the Bible. And again, that is from Foundation Worldview. I will leave everything linked down below as well in the description if you want to check those out. Now, I actually recorded this video a couple weeks ago and now I am redoing it because I made some changes to our curriculum choices for my fifth grader and here's where the change came in. It is with English. So for writing and grammar, we were originally going to go with the BJU Press English curriculum. We used that the last couple of years and have loved it. But what I realized was that my up and coming fifth grader needed some more dedicated writing help and writing instruction. Now BJU has a great English course that covers grammar and writing and they do walk them through in the elementary years very, um, very well. They give good instruction in writing. But I just have some kids that need some more in-depth writing instruction. And also I have kids that, um, how do I say this? Even if they know how to write, what to actually write down is a challenge. They might know how to write that, you know, five paragraph essay, but when you say, go write a five paragraph essay, they just draw a blank and anxiety sets in, frustration sets in, and it's just overwhelming to them. And so I often go back to IEW writing. Um, I love their structure and style for students' curriculum. It's video-based. Um, Andrew Prudois does a great job teaching the kids, engaging them, giving them step-by-step -step instructions, and he's got jokes in there that my kids love, and so that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the structure and style for students. This particular child has never used IEW um, writing or grammar before, so I think it will be great for him to do it this year. We're just gonna go with the structure and style for students, their level A, year one course. And we'll probably go on to the year two course um, the next year so that we can just round out that whole curriculum. Now, since we're doing IEW for writing, it then makes sense to use it for grammar. And so we'll be using their Fix It Grammar curriculum. And we're starting with the first one, which is, I have to look here, which is the nose tree. And so we'll be starting with that. What I love about Fix It Grammar is that it's only four days a week. It only takes a few minutes each day, yet it's really effective and somewhat enjoyable. I mean, as enjoyable as grammar can be, right, for a kid. So we're gonna go with IEW, their structure and style for students for writing and fix it grammar for their grammar curriculum. 
Now for the rest of their kind of English curriculum, um, we are just going to finish up the BJU reading curriculum from this past year and also continue on with all about reading and all about spelling. So this past year that we just finished up, I did all about reading to teach um, reading skills and just to become a better reader. And then I use the BJU Press reading curriculum um, more for reading comprehension and um, you know just analyzing literature and and all of that but because I wanted to focus on getting through the all about reading levels and just really improving and becoming a strong reader we went very slowly through the BJU Press reading curriculum and I think we only got maybe like 40% of the way through that course, maybe close to 50% of the way. So we're just gonna finish that BJU Press reading course up next year. Um, it's gonna save us some money. We'll just continue working on through that and continue on with all about reading. And then for spelling, we will do all about spelling. And that will round out the English curriculum. For history, we're gonna be going with the BJU Press Heritage Studies five course and this is one that several of my kids have taken it's a great american history course it starts with the early settlements and goes all the way through the obama administration we're going to be doing the video based courses so that's all online everything scheduled out for them so i just love that american history course like i said i've had several kids take it so excited about that one for science, we're gonna continue on with BJU Press Science, moving into the fifth grade science curriculum. Uh, my son has really enjoyed BJU Press Science. Again, we do the video lessons, and so he's got great instruction from a teacher who's enthusiastic about science, and so that's always great because that's not one of my favorite subjects. So it's great that he can get instruction from somebody who is excited about science and he enjoys those video lessons as well as the textbook. So that's what we're doing for science. And last but not least is math. And for math, we're gonna be moving into BJU Press Math 5. I have found that the BJU Press Math curriculum is working wonderful for my younger two kids. Some of you know that I've used Matthew C in the past and I have had kids that have used and done well with Matthew C, but these, my two younger kids um, are doing really well and thriving with BJU Press Math. So we're just gonna move right in to the next level, which would be Math 5. So that's it for my fifth grader. Now on to my third grader. So for Bible, we are gonna be doing the same thing that I'm doing with my fifth grader. We're gonna be doing it together, and that is the Studying the Bible from Foundation Worldview. And this is a video um, that they watch together, and then there are things that I, questions and discussions that we'll have together. So that's what we're going to be doing for Bible. Uh, for English, um, we are going to continue on with BJU Press English 2. So we got about 60% of the way through the English 2 curriculum last year. We're just going to continue on using that into the third grade school year. When we finish it, we'll probably then move on to English 3, but I'm not, I don't know how long it's going to take us. I love that um, the BJU Press English 2 curriculum is a nice slow introduction to grammar and writing, and so we have just been making that fit in to our schedule this past school year. And so we don't always, we haven't always gotten to it. And so we'll just finish it up next year. And that's one of the great things about homeschooling is just being able to move at your child's own pace. And, you know, writing and grammar is important, but we've been focusing more on just learning to read and reading comprehension, handwriting, things like that this past year. And so I didn't want to overwhelm with a lot of writing and grammar on top of that. And so we moved through it slowly. We'll finish it up next year. Also great on my budget because I don't have to buy a new English curriculum. We're going to be doing the same thing with our BJU Press reading curriculum. We got about halfway through it last year and we will just continue on with BJU Press reading to next year. One of the reasons we moved 
um, pretty slowly through reading two was because we were also doing all about reading. And so again, all about reading for more of um, how to read and becoming a better, more um, efficient reader. And then the reading two for more reading comprehension, you know, the reading two from BJU Press. And so we will continue on with all about reading and also the BJU Press uh, reading from second grade. We'll finish it up in third grade. And then for spelling, we are using all about spelling. So we'll just continue on with that. Now for heritage studies, we're gonna be using the BJU Press Heritage Studies 3 curriculum, which I'm looking down here to make sure I'm right. Um, it is It covers world cultures and basic geography, which I think will be a really fun course for my son next year. Now with BJU, their um, heritage studies and science courses up until third grade are just half a year or one semester. So Heritage Studies 3 is one semester, and then he'll also be doing Science 3 um, from BJU Press as well, and he'll be doing that. Um, that's a one semester course as well. Now I know that some families will do maybe History or the Heritage Studies course, maybe in the beginning of the school year, and then wrap up with Science. Um, what my kids like to do is um, kind of go back and forth between heritage studies and science. And so we will do heritage studies maybe three days of the week and science two days of one week. And then the next week, maybe do science um, three days and heritage studies two days. So we just kind of rotate through them and they enjoy that. So that because they like the heritage studies courses and the science courses, and honestly, they would do both of them in one day if they could because they love them. But I'm trying to keep in these early years, um, keep the limit of not only screen time, but just the amount of work they have to do for formal learning. Try to keep that to a minimum. And so I love the BJU Press Heritage Studies and Science courses, like I said, up to third grade. They're each just half a year or one semester. So it makes it really easy to implement. Now, one thing that I wanna let you um, know about is that if you wanna do the video courses from BJU Press for Heritage Studies and Science, if you just go to the website, and you look at the Heritage Studies course, you will see a price there. And then you go to the science, you'll see that same price. And you think, wow, that's a lot of money for those two courses. You can get them together as a combo, two for the price of one. And I'll make sure to leave a link down below to the Heritage Studies Science 3 combo pack where you can get two for one. And that's what we will be doing. I gotta back up a little bit to English because I forgot about handwriting. So um, my son started, my up and coming third grader, started learning cursive first and we then transitioned to print last year. And so this upcoming school year, we're just going to be um, continuing to practice print and cursive. And so what I do for that is I don't go purchase a curriculum. I just take the all about spelling um, sentences for you know his spelling words and I will have him write maybe one of those sentences out in cursive and the next one in print or maybe I'll have him write that same sentence out in cursive and then in print and so he just gets a little practice with his handwriting obviously in the beginning of the school year we will go through and review how to do all of those letters and form them properly in print and cursive and do some review but then it's just really just practicing good hand handwriting. I do like to have a separate handwriting um, time for him though for each of my kids when they're younger because when they're actually doing writing or filling in worksheets for grammar or you know answering history questions if they want to write fast and write sloppy just to get all the you know information and ideas down I'd rather them do that and then have a dedicated time where they're not having to process and put down their thoughts on paper all they're having to do is focus on good penmanship. So I do like to have, take just a couple minutes each day for them to really focus on just penmanship and how to form the letters correctly and how to write neatly. And then the other times they can write fast because that's more, I just want them to get those that information down on a piece of paper. So I hope that makes sense. So for handwriting, we're not gonna be doing any particular curriculum but we are going to have some time to practice handwriting. Last up for my third grader is math, and we are gonna be continuing on with BJU Press Math, moving into their third grade math. Again, 
This has been a great fit for my two younger boys. They love the video lessons. I love that the BJU Press math curriculum, especially the video lessons, has a time of review and especially reviewing those math facts that we can so easily forget, right? Um, even us adults. Um, so it has a time of reviewing past concepts, of reviewing math facts, teaching the new lesson. And, um, and so I just find that that is really helpful for my boys. And the video lessons are very engaging and the instruction is really good. And so we'll just be continuing on with BJU Press Math. So that is everything for our homeschool curriculum choices for the elementary school year. Like I said, I am hoping to get out some videos for middle school with my up and coming eighth grader, as well as some videos for my high school curriculum choices. Super excited about that. We have some fun electives coming for my high schoolers. I've got an up and coming 10th grader and then one who's going to be a senior and I just can't believe I'm gonna have a third child getting ready to leave our home, graduate from our home school here soon. But they grow up so fast, but that is coming. So hopefully I will get those videos, uh, homeschool curriculum choice videos out to you soon. So stay tuned for that. Again, all of the links to the curriculum I mentioned will be down in the description. I also have a blog post that shares all of this in detail too. If it's easier for you just to see it in a blog post, I'll leave that blog post link down below as well.